Developing Your Deer Dog. Brought to you by Conquest Sense. Hey guys, Jeremy Moore with Dog Bone, and this week I've got Ellie here for Developing Your Deer Dog. You know, we're in the third part of our series on game recovery. And this week we really want to talk about is leads and leashes, tracking leads and leashes. I'm going to talk a little bit about the idea of using them and how we're going to use them, the legalities of it, and then I'm actually going to talk a little bit about the leashes themselves. But let's start out with the legality because I think it's the most important part. You know, I'm from Wisconsin and Wisconsin is what we call a leashed tracking state, meaning I have to have my dog under 100% control and on lead anytime I'm taking part in a game recovery. Some people, and, and myself included, it's frustrating at times because there are disadvantages to it. It's a hindrance at times. You get into some thick stuff, this has a tendency to want to get wrapped up on things and it'll slow you down, it'll put pressure onto our dog's necks. So there's a downside of it as opposed to just being off leading and allowing the dogs to track. But the upside of it is, A, it takes away any argument of the control issue. If you have the dog on lead, you have 100% control. The other thing from a handler standpoint that I find really valuable is the importance of feel. Now I'm picky, I'm really picky, and I think anyone that comes, you, you talk to anyone that does anything to a real high level, feel is something that they will talk about and discuss. You know, with my bow, I make the, adjustments to the grip so that it feels just right. That's a detail that I have to pay attention to. Well with tracking, feel is important to me as well. When I'm working obedience and I have a dog on lead at heel, I literally feel the dog on lead and off lead. The dog I know feels me. Well at 30 feet when they get out at a distance, I still can feel them when I'm using the leads. And I can feel the idea of when the dog is actually on the track or off the track based on how they're feeling as far as pulling goes. So that's a real important part of it. Another part of it that I think is important to talk about is what lead is the right lead? What tracking leash is the right tracking leash? There's all sorts of kinds out there. I've used leather, I've used like a climber's rope. Um, this is a PVC wrap webbing. I like this, this is what I've been using lately and it's kind of my preferred lead because it doesn't get wet and get stinky. It doesn't get mold or mildew on it. It goes through the woods really easily and has much less tendencies to get wound up and wrapped up on things. There's different sizes when it comes to these things as well. You know, this hardware is pretty good size. I, I have two different tracking leads. My smaller dogs, I'm gonna use the smaller lead. The bigger dogs, I'm gonna use the bigger lead. So I think when you look at tracking leads, there's finding the right one, finding the right feel, finding the right fit. And then the other thing is, is when you start putting these onto the dogs, you'll see the conditioned response that you'll get out of them. You know, a lot like a gun dog or a bird dog, if you pump a shotgun, they're all ears and they understand what comes next. But when it comes to these, when you put the leads on, when you put the collars on, you'll see, you'll notice I don't hardly ever wear, my dogs hardly ever wear collars. When they do put a collar on, when they do put a harness on, they understand it's like flipping a switch. And now all of a sudden, they gotta get in that mindset, both physically and mentally, that they're going on a track. So, that's the reasons that partially why we use these. It's the legal part of it, it's the actual advantages that I get by using them, and then it's turning these dogs on and letting them understand it's time to go to work, it's time to get out, it's time to find something. So tracking leads, tracking collars, important tools, important parts of your deer dog when it comes to game recovery.